right? So we make some simple, simple tortillas here. This is about as simple as anything could ever get. So uh, you're gonna want a measuring cup. Right, grab yourself a measuring cup. Um, try to get a little higher on the sides, especially if you've got one like that. Uh, you're gonna wanna grab yourself some cornmeal. I have some in a uh, larger amount. I should, uh, okay, um, making the tortillas here. I got the other things cooking here, but this is just for the tortillas. So anyways, we're gonna just put about a half a cup in here. Usually I would use the bigger bag, but just for this video, I'll just use my little bit of cornmeal. Okay, so about a half a cup of cornmeal. All right. And we will want about half a cup of flour. Again, I'm just gonna use my, my little bit of flour that I have nearby. Okay, so get yourself about a cup of flour, or I mean half a cup of flour. That's it there. Okay. Keep your flour out handy. I'm just gonna move over here. Grab yourself a little, a little bowl and fork. Just need a regular large fork for this. Okay, and just grab yourself a, you know, a, a little bowl. It doesn't have to be very big at all. Anyway, you can just go ahead. Your measuring cup is done now. Take your measuring cup. You can go ahead and, uh, well, put yourself, you, you know, I don't, put yourself a cup of water and you'll see how much you use. But you're probably gonna need a little over a quarter cup. Anyways, mix this in here first so you get all your flour and your, your cornmeal, okay, mixed well. Now I like these because, you know, their tortillas are good if they're corn or they're flour, but I've always thought they tasted way better when it's been a, the mix. So anyways, you just start with, you know, if you say you had a quarter cup in here, just start with about half of that and just start in the middle. Don't pour around on the side, just, you know, start in the middle. Work your little a little bit, and you'll see you'll need more. It'll show you right away. All right. So never put too much if you're gonna make this. You'll see why. Just keep working it until you notice it's like so thick you really can't work anything anymore. All right. You'll see it's sticky and. The good thing about the fork is you just squish everything back. It's like mixing it itself while you're using the fork. All right. Okay. You can just use a dash of water more to make this easier. Okay. Now. It's not too sticky or anything. I won't get my hand. I shouldn't get my hand too dirty here. Anyways, you just got. I'm just gonna fold it back on itself using the side of the bowl. It is a little sticky. Just a dash. I put a put. I think I put just a dash too much water. See, I'm at, I'm at a quarter cup. But uh, like I say, it's about a quarter cup you want for this. But it's just you can hear it. Uh, maybe you can see if I can get the. I don't know if you can hear that stick, you know. It's not sticking to my hands or anything, but I can feel it's wet. You know, it's not like uh, causing me stick like it's glue or anything, like, like if it was just flour. Okay, but anyway, you can see this. So now, you're going to get this, just start to work it a bit. It doesn't take very much. It's mostly just squishing it, getting it back on itself. If there are any little crumbs that fall, get them, pick them back up. Now, you want this to be about the consistency 
of Play-Doh, just a like warm Play-Doh, I guess, if you will. So I just put a sprinkling of flour in there because I'm just going to try to get the right consistency anyways. All right. Now I'm just, I'm squeezing out my fingers like that just to really work it out fast. Get all the flour worked in there. So anyways, so you can see, try to pull it apart a little bit there and show you. So it's starting to now, it's starting to, instead of just pulling right apart, it's trying to do a little stretch. So anyways, it's not too dry. You can see how, okay. So just make yourself a little ball here like this and just literally let this leave this and what I'm going to do is actually just I'm gonna leave it up here on the stove just out of the way just go like that boom cover it I'm gonna leave it there for about 10 minutes um, that's about all we're gonna do um, come back not even you can go about five minutes but I'll Wait about five, 10 minutes. Let that really sink in there and get combined. You can leave your flour on the side. You can get rid of your, your, um, your, uh, uh, well, you can keep the fork around too. You see that little crumb off of there. So anyways, um, you can keep the fork around. You don't need your water anymore. Uh, you can, in fact, if you want, just pour if you've got a little leftover water. Go ahead and just pour it in there. It's not gonna get hurt nothing. All right. And, uh, We'll be back in about, you know, five minutes, ten minutes for that. It won't be very long. All right. Crumbs there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, get my next step uh, for the rest of this, um, the potatoes, if you will get a little, little fork and poke your potatoes, give them a little uh, checking on, I guess to say, well, yeah, they start to feel nice and tender. They're getting there. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a can of uh, red kidney beans, kidney beans, but red kidney beans, dark ones, I believe. Oh, just red, they're not dark red, they're just regular red. All right, so grab yourself a can of kidney beans. Um, I'm gonna whip this over to here real quick. Just to show you, I guess, what I'm about to, how I do her. Okay, grab yourself a, grab yourself a strainer and a can opener. Digestion issue, you know, you know, no, you, you get a little gassy, whatnot, which you know, because uh, of beans. And by washing them and getting that all out of there, you're gonna eliminate most of any of the problem, unless you just have a personal problem with beans. But uh, I've never had a problem, anyways. Anyways, so let's get that up. We're gonna go over here. Should whip the camera around real quick while I'm trying to do this all at once. All right, so go ahead, just open up your, and pour in your beans right in. All right, put that over to there, and 
you can stir these too now. All right, get those in. That's nice. Now I'm going to give the meat here too, another little, uh... oh wow, that's smelling nice. Now you can see the meat has done a lot of the work itself on mince, getting, you know, all thinned out and minced up. Um, I wish I could, uh, I think I might be able to get some of the gravy here to show it, or some of the juice here. I don't know if, uh, I guess I should just come over with it. I don't know if you can see the beautiful colored, uh, uh, shoot, can't really see color here very well, but uh, you know, it's really, really nice red. You know, really very, very rich, vibrant red. Yeah, I guess you can see how dark it is right there. So anyways, it's real nice. The onions almost have broke down to almost where you're not even gonna know they're there anymore. I don't know if you can even, I'll try to scoop, you know, like, I guess I just come back over here and show you a good scoop of it, uh, you know, so, you know, it's not like you see onion. Alright, so, that is done here too, pretty much, they're on low, we're still got him rammed up on high, he's doing a good one, alright. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna come back to, I'm gonna come back here and now I'm gonna start these there, you know, it's been a few minutes here, and then like I say, it doesn't take that long, you know, it's just you wanna have a little time, but you know, uh, you know, they don't need to sit, it doesn't need to sit there for an hour or a half hour or anything like that. It just needs to get, to, to get a little bit of a, a help for itself. Okay, so anyways, now what I'm going to do is actually, uh, Take this, move it over to that side. I'm gonna take this out here. Uh, move this just the side over to there for me. Nearby. And what I'm gonna do with this is, and you can see, you can actually see here, like, like there's absolutely no stick or anything like that here. Okay, so what I'm gonna kind of do is try to try to just square it up a little bit, like a little bit of a, a brick, if you will. Okay. Go like that. Give yourself a little bit of a shape so you can get a, a good even a good even cut when you divide this up. And that you're not gonna have different sized balls here. So anyways, I'm gonna go this this makes six tortillas. Okay? So your first thing you're gonna want to do is just you know you can maybe just score it so you can see the size of your, your little doughs that you're about to do. Okay, so that's about all you're gonna be doing. So one there, one there. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. That's about it, okay? Now, roll them into little balls. All right, I should be, uh, oh, I hope I got all that there. Let me score it, get them all into little balls. Don't know if I actually got that on videotape. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it real quick again here, just to show, okay? So get yourself a little square. This is this isn't like regular pie dough, so working it too much isn't really the biggest issue here. Okay, so anyways, uh, okay, we got this back together again here, right? Nice little brick here. So I'm gonna score it, go like that, you know, just to get that just just to give me a line so I can see that I know I'm getting really close to the same size. So anyway, just cut out your little pieces like that. this like that like that now just roll your balls all right you can throw them back right into the into this for yourself okay yeah boom boom now you're just trying to make sure not to leave any cracks you know like like this right there you're really trying to make sure that this is all nice little sealed ball all right Like if you get flour in there and it collapses on itself, it's not going to work so nice. All right, and one more. All right, so we got six little balls in here. 
Okay, I'm just gonna let those sit there for a little bit again. Now, my meat is ready. I'm going to shut it right down. All right. Shut that right down. My potatoes are essentially ready. The beans, because they're canned beans, they're pretty much already cooked. So they're pretty much already done over here. Um, what you're going to want to do uh, 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 still is um, uh, 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 get yourself another wood board and you're going to want to get yourself a pan. Now what I'm going to do here is um, I'm about to take this all off. If you were doing tortillas, it'd be a little separate, you know. Uh, well, I guess I should just do it like so. I'm going to shut the stove off real quick over here. And uh, best, I just, best I just move this out of the way so it's not in our camera viewing way. All right, so I'm going to move this over to there so it's out of the way. All right, move this over here so now we can... So I can still see here with the camera. Now, I'm going to try to do everything it's a little harder because usually I move back and forth. All right, so what you're going to want to do is get yourself a, a pan. Now, usually the, usually the burner is uh, usually the burner's cold, so I wouldn't be putting it on right now. So I'm going to actually not put it right, right on the burner right now. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is um, get myself, that's still a little too warm to do this too, because usually I just put a, oh, I think I can actually, hold on here. Hmm, yeah, I could just do that. All right, so I'm just going to actually put that there, just so I can not burn that or anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a tortillas, and I'm going to have one tortilla sitting here pretty much just getting ready so I can get a, essentially a continuous cycle and if anything happens then I'm gonna have like a backup getting ready because once they start cooking they're fairly rapid to start whipping out okay so next thing you're also gonna want is a, a cloth a dish cloth uh, grab yourself a dish cloth here all right so now you're gonna want to you know I'm, I've got a you know I folded in four here but you're gonna want to, you're gonna want it. To, I, I'm doubling it up, so you're gonna want like a like a sandwich here. You're gonna open them up and put them in there. So, anyways, I'm just gonna leave them. Uh, I'm just gonna show you over here, I guess. I'm going to put them up over here while I cook them. So I'm just going to lift this up here and I'm gonna throw them in there as I make them. And as soon as I'm done cooking them, I'll show you what to do with them next there right away. So, anyways, I got a place that's ready to put them. I got a pan that's getting ready to cook them. Um, I'm going to turn on the heat here and everything in a, in a, in a second. Anyway, uh, it doesn't take very much flour at all here. Like, literally, I'm going to put in two pinches, but it takes about a good pinch to get this started. Just get your little ball started here and, you know, make it, make it very, 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 you don't have to, like a little equal, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the more round you pay attention to putting it while you spread it here, the better it's going to be uh, when you go to roll it. So anyways, uh, just go like that. Like I say, I'm just going to, as soon as you spread it a little, just get more flour underneath. You will never get anything to stick. Get yourself a rolling pin and uh, I know I've just, when you roll, don't just go like this back and forth. And don't just go like that back and forth. You want to do a couple and then crisscross. So it's like you're going to do the, a plus sign here. And never start at the edge of the dough. Start partially in the dough and back and forth. So a couple of them. Okay. And then go crisscross the opposite way. Okay. Okay, I can feel it starting to want to stick. I'm just gonna go like that. So you'll feel the shape, like I say, so they don't have to be perfect circles. So you can see here now, oh, a little bit torque and it was just sticking. That doesn't hurt nothing. You can eat it if you want. Cats love to chew on those little bits. Okay, so anyways, you can see here my First little one, it's super, super, super thin. No, I don't know if I can probably show how thin that is, you know. Uh, 
So anyways, I'm just gonna set him aside over here like that. And now is where I'm gonna put my pan on. Okay, I should turn back a little bit this way. Uh, just to get that. Okay, so hmm, I wonder if I could, I usually, I, I usually cook them on the bigger burner over here just because it's a more equal heat. And that's how, hey, I'm gonna have to do it that way because I don't wanna screw these up or anything. I know it'd be a little harder to cook here on the smaller burner. Anyways, I'm gonna put this a little less than half. So I'm gonna put it on four myself over here, but not perfectly half. I'm gonna put it just a little off, offset on half. All right, takes nothing in the pan at all. All right, now what we're gonna do over here, okay, grab ourselves a, a good pinch. All right, again, just work this out into a little, like that, push it around. Pay attention to how, so you don't get these weird, weird, odd shapes here, because if you're gonna wrap something with it, it really doesn't make it nice then. Okay, so a couple like this, couple this way, couple this way. And it never hurts to put a little, you can still, anytime you want, almost reshape them. See, so they stay nice and circle-like. circle, circle -like. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab a little bit more flour here. All right. Now I don't make big tortillas because it takes a bigger pan, and the pan I have I really like, plus, I don't, find, I don't find it hard at all. All right, so. That's about a nice one there too. I'm gonna take this extra one I got right now and just throw it on the very top of my, my cloth. And now I'm essentially about to start cooking here in a second. Now, if you had an extra person to do this with, you know, you could, you could be making them a lot quicker uh, uh, in the sense of, of not having to worry. Now I have to, I can't cook them, you know, don't cook these on very high because you'll, you, you'll have a problem if you try to. They'll cook, uh, you know, the outside you'll get little burn marks too quickly. So anyways, a little bit like this, a little bit like that. <laughs> All right, like I said, I'm not going for perfect circles, but good to try. Just seeing that pan size. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take my first one I did, and I'm as I lay it. I know this is already hot enough. Anyways, as I lay it, I'm going to actually touch the back of the pan and pull it down first, and let it sit in. Now it sits in, like I know about the size. That's why I'm good. I know that I'm going to sit rather nicely in here. Now you can already see the steam starting in here. All right, I'm just going to grab this guy here. I'm going to throw him over here. All right. I'm going to start this here like that. Okay, I'm going to flatten this guy out with my hand like this. All right. Flatten him like that. All right. Now a little this way. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. Now, um, I guess I could probably get the pan real close. If you look in here, um, if you've ever cooked a crepe or something, it's, you know, it's not, not exactly like this, but you can see there's just little tiny bubbles that are actually starting to form here, like tons of little ones, but you can't really see them. It's just like, you know, a little bit of dimpled skin. That's essentially telling you, now you don't need a fork. You know, this is, a, you know, it's not, they're not that hot. Anyways, I can sh now show you the backside here a little better. You can see the little brown spots. You see, see a little bit of brown here and here and here. That's essentially it's ready. Throw it, flip it onto the other side like that. All right, now I'm gonna just do this a little more over here. All right. All right. That's a nice 
one there too. Okay, so now I got another one here ready. Move this bowl aside. I'm take out flour, do one more here. All right, I'm just gonna make it in my hand again like this. All right. You almost, if you, I can say it when you're rolling these, you can almost not roll, it's almost hard, too hard to roll too thin. It's almost like you can't do it. The only thing that happens is you start hitting, you know, a little bit of a, of a, what do you call it, a, a sticking happening. All right, so this is more than done over here. See, you just got this, this is the other side of it. See, so we've got one side, that side more than done. Like I said, I was going to do, just take it, throw it underneath your little cloth here. All right, grab your next one. Again, you're going to go in, droop out of the pan, come down in the pan before you pull it into. Because if you, if you don't, it's going to end up falling. And as soon as, they get, as soon as it gets warm, you can see right away, see where it's warm, you can see, see it's hot here, so it moistens up. It hasn't touched here yet, so it's, see, it's, I can feel the stick. So it's a little bit sticky just for the first few. So if you touch it in there and it falls on itself, it gets a little sticky, it's a little bit of a problem. So anyway, we're gonna pull out one more of these right here. For that, we're gonna be doing up the last one here. All right. Now I should say that uh, if you've got, if you if you want, you can actually, I should just show you, if you have a wood, if you just take a put it in your stove and you put it on through the, the grill, you can do that with the grill in the stove and you can actually just warm them up like that in the stove too, like tacos. It's the same thing, okay? So you, you, you can fit roughly in a stove. I'm pretty sure you can fit about 18, make 18 shells out of one batch in the stove. So all you do is put them all in like this and then turn your stove on and keep your eye on. They're very quick to cook. I'll probably do one of those episodes one day. But anyways, um, I don't need, you know, 18 at a time. That's why I, I just do them like this. Anyways, this you can already grab. You just flip them. I know I don't use uh, I don't use nothing in here. Like it's not the, the the edges will peel up enough that you don't have to worry. Anyways, I'll just pull it out real quick again. Show you the back side here that I just cooked. See, just a few little little spots. Okay, they're cooked. Um, pretty much that one up here. I'm on my last little dough stretch here. All right, I'm just gonna pad this one out, and what I'm going to do is. Because now that pan is a lot hotter than the first one that went in there. Okay. And it's cooked. Okay. See? I already knew it. See? So. Okay. So now I'm just going to slide that one in there. Next one in. I'm going to pull this one out. Again, droop outside. Pull down and in. And you can see, like, okay, uh, not yet, not yet. The steam has started. The color has changed. I see all the perimeter. And it's all literally all one color right now. It's that quick. All right, then I'm just gonna okay, like that. Okay. They're, they're ready. It, it, it sticks at the very beginning. Again, see? Not, not, not hard. Alright. Now, you'll see there's a temperature sometimes. I, I'm going to try to show you here. Um, the bubbles that start to happen. That means you're usually going a little too hot. If the bubbles start to really expand on it, just lower your temperature a bit. Okay, and by that I'm going to show you right away too. 
you can actually see see the bubble right here that started to form there's a few of them that are in there that formed okay that's already cooked you see so now that's what I mean by not having too many ready uh, to roll here okay so I'm gonna go oh see oh, that touched a little too long and it stuck it was that quick all right Okay, and count one, two, what, three, four, five, six, seven, what, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. See, it's still sticky a little. I just tried to lift a bit. I could feel it was still a little tacky. So I know it's not cooked. Again, I'm just gonna grab the edges peeled. Oh, see, it's done. Peels up nicely. Okay. Now, it may sometimes not look, um, I don't know if you can see it, sometimes it doesn't look like it's so perfectly cooked. It actually looks a little well, like, I don't want to use the word greasy, um, like there's oil in here, because absolutely I didn't put no oil. You see how I saw, I just put a little bit of water. But it's going to look a little bit of, uh, uh, like, like, like it's a little bit of grease in there, just a dash. And that's actually, I'm just pushing down some bubbles that are forming. Anyways, uh. That's it. See, done. Now you can see, you know, like these are still like, you know, and still roll one up and everything. Now they 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 do tend to dry out if you don't put them storm properly. Okay, that's why I'm stacking them under a blanket at the moment or under the towel at the moment. Anyways, put them in nice and well, put them in nice and quick. Okay, they only take a little bit of time. I just wipe my, uh, not to say wipe it, but I'm just picking up the flour with this. That's right, because I'm not to waste any of the flour here. Right. Last tortilla is the nicest, roundest one, eh? I guess. <laughs> There's a nice round one there, right, mate? All right. So he's done pretty much. Give him a little flip. As soon as the color, essentially, as soon as you got a dash of color in there, you're pretty much done. All right. Now I'm going to push this guy aside over here. Okay, flour can go back away. And grab a little bowl here. All right. Cloth for this here. Right. This is ready. Right. See. See. There's a little bit of color here, here, and here. You know. So it's really it's done. This side's got a little dash more color. All right. Throw the next one in. I'll actually pull these down here for you now. Okay. There. Guys, in. In fact, I'll even bring them up to here. Now, like I say, you can make them a little, the first one I made was just a dash, I say, will be a dash on the crispier side, because it's my, my time one, that's always the first one, it's not to say it's a throwaway, but if you were making tacos, it's almost, not to say perfect, but it's a nice, it's a nice, not crunchy, but not soggy texture, okay? Oh, see, it's already moving around in here, so it's not stuck anymore, done. Now, shutting off the oven, got more time, there's way more time than I'm going to need in there. All right, so you can see I just made, made all of these up here. Now, what I do myself is I store them. I store them in one of these. All right, so, so you can see, see, they're not, you know, now the first one I say, it's, it's not crunchy, but it's a little more just a dash more tough but it'll soften up so anyways anyways done all right so put them in and close them up and that little bit of warmth in there will really keep them nice and soft for when you're about to eat now they're not hot or anything like that you saw I'm holding them with my hand so anyways that's done uh, those are my simple tortillas um, I guess I'm gonna probably put one together. 
uh, but I hope that was you know simple to show you those tortillas there you know I don't think it's at all anything hard at all to make with a tortilla it's super simple now I like cheese on my burritos personally but I won't for this video won't be putting one on because it's just a waste of time so we just want to make a burrito for this video if you got a little bit of uh, you know shredded cheese go ahead so anyways a little quick spin in a circle and just to tell you um you should let this sit for a few minutes, you know, five minutes or something. Let the flavors really uh, permeate each other there. But because I've mashed everything, the flavor has just, you know, it has no choice to get everywhere. So you don't really need to work, wait that long. It's just, it's, it is very hot still. But then if you had some cold cheese or some frozen sprinkled cheese in here, it'd be nothing. So anyways, I'm just going to grab a little blob with this. Go like that. All right, so the idea here, and whoa, a little flavor for me to try. <laughs> anyway, um, I know everybody's probably seen a move just this way a bit. Mmm, that's got a good taste. When you fold the bottom here, um, uh, what I do is I pinch together so. It so it does this, you can probably, uh, hey, I can't show you, okay, hang on, do it backwards with my hand, pinch together, and make like a fold, it fold it over on itself, see, so kind of like that, but instead of folding it on an angle, it's just being folded and tilted, okay, so, right, like that, so it's pretty simple, I'm going to do it by, I'm going to do it like this, I'll just show you. I'm gonna go like that, fold over, and fold over. Okay, so essentially, that's how it goes. Now, you can see, you know, that's my meat. Got, I, they're not very big, but me, two, three of these, and I'm right full. And I got, you know, I'm gonna freeze this up, and I'm gonna have burritos once a week for, uh, for the next month. All I gotta make is a, uh, you know, a couple shells there once a week. I like making my bread once a week and everything. Anyways, we'll have a little bite of this because I'm sure it's cool enough on the bite part there. Mmm. Mmm. That's just delicious. I could eat this in a second. Mmm. Oh. Huh? Oh. As simple as a burrito comes. If you don't like bean burritos and they're too beanie tasting, and if you don't like beef burritos because they're too meaty tasting, this is that blend right in between that just makes it perfect. Also being a good tortilla shell there. That, you know, it doesn't taste like corn. It doesn't taste like flour right in the middle again. Mmm. Make one of these disappear fast. Mmm. And the dog's kicking around because she wants some too. Anyways, I'm going to end up eating all this on the video. I hope you guys ended up uh, liking a, simp a real simple. You know, I don't, I don't see too much, not really anything that unhealthy with this. So, if you like it, and please comment and uh, let me know. Again, more recipes and stuff to try. And I've got lots more in my mind to do, but maybe there's some I haven't thought about. Anyways, um, hope you like this video. This is delicious. All right, bye.